Welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2021. I'm Nicole Goodnight and I'll be your host for the upcoming run. AGDQ 2021 is benefiting the Prevent Cancer Foundation. The Prevent Cancer Foundation, founded in 1985, is a US-based nonprofit organization. Their mission is to save lives across all populations through cancer prevention and early detection by focusing their work on research, education, outreach, and advocacy. Their vision is to stop cancer before it starts. You can find out more information about PCF at PreventCancer.org. As a reminder, we are only $15,000 away from meeting our Mario Kart incentive. 15000 in five hours? That's nothing. We've got this Twitch chat. While we're getting all set up for our next run, let's go ahead and read some donations. I have a $75 donation from Oh No Ollie. They say, such awesome Hollow Knight prizes. Looking forward to Ori and the Will of the Wisps, two of my favorite games back to back. Best of luck to Richard. Thank you so much for your donation. That Hornet plush is amazing, isn't it? I have a $60 donation from Skylar63. Super excited for Ori and the Will of the Wisps run now. Also, putting my money to Mario Kart bonus game to get that next bonus game. Thank you so much, Skylar. I have a $27 donation from Mother of Corky who says, donated towards the Ori and the Will of the Wisps incentive and donating again to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Let's get the hype going for these fast games. Thank you so much, Mother of Corgi. Speaking of our amazing Mario Kart incentive, I have a $5 donation from Deep7. They say, I heard of a Mario Kart race, and man, does that look ace. A $5 train will make it less plain, so let's make it happen, GDQ. Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it indeed. Thank you so much for your donation, and with that, I'm getting word that we are all set up for our next run, so let's go ahead and send it over to Richard with Ori and the Will of the Wisps, any percent. Hello, prospective GDQ host, and hello again to the hosting judges. I am not Sikinar, I am Richard, and I am going to be running the first few minutes of Ori and the Will of the Wisps for you. So with that said, let's get started in 3, 2, 1, go! Starting up here, we're going to be skipping the opening cutscenes, which include a prologue, which takes many minutes to complete, as well as a cutscene that is too sad to watch. So this is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. It's a sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest that came out this year. So as we get over to the torch, I actually want to hand it over to our wonderful host with some donations. So take it away. Oh, thank you so much. I have a $20 donation from Leneth28 who says, It's not much, but I really wanted to help this amazing event. We need to help each other even more on difficult times like this. Greetings from Brazil. Thank you so much, Leneth. Every single dollar helps so much. It is very appreciated. Now that we have the torch, this is a very important tool in the speedrun. It's going to be used to break through wooden barriers, as well as be used to skip a couple of sections as we get towards this beginning part where we have to collect two keystones. So Talk right there has some key has a keystone for us. But we're not going to go there quite yet. We're just going to grab some of this experience, which you will not see used in the duration of this hosting audition. But if you are interested, you can watch the GDQ run done by Sikinar to see what the experience is used for. And now we're coming up to a torch hover here where you want to hold up and left and then also spam the torch so you can get up there. I'm just going to die here so that I respawn at the top, and then I can try it again. We're going to get it this time. And this is going to lead us to our first keystone. Uh, we normally would have had to go through that bottom area, lose this torch. But going this way, it's a little bit better for us. This jump here is a little bit precise. But we are going to get this first keystone, and until we get to talk, you can probably read another donation. Absolutely, I've got quite a few. <laughs> now that I died, you can definitely read a donation. <laughs> You've got this. I have a $150 anonymous donation that says, Did someone say prizes, helping out an amazing cause, and a bonus Mario Kart 8 run? Sign me up. Thank you so much. We did, in fact, say all of those things. 
I also have an $8 donation from MK is the best, and they say, gotta see that MK8 run. We do still have time to meet that incentive, so let's get those donations in. All right, and here we are going to retrieve our second keystone, which is going to allow us to open up keystone door and proceed further in the game. This is important because we're going to be going up to our first boss fight of the game. And before we do that, we're actually going to need to ditch this torch. Again, we're not supposed to have this torch right now. So I'm going to dip in the water to get rid of it. And then proceed onwards. So I don't get soft locked. And now that I'm going into this fight, this is one of the very popular escape sequences in the Ori and the Blind Forest series. One of the additions that they added to this game was a boss fight that happens end of these escape sequences. So I'm just going to be holding right and jumping here until we get over to this torch. And now that we have this torch, we are going to wail on this boss. I don't want to be too close or else I'm going to die, but nicely done right there as we get rid of Howl. Now we're going to be going to get our sword next, and here's another great opportunity for you to read off a couple of donations. Sure thing, I have a $100 donation from Lucasid59. They say, hey bro, good luck on your GDQ host audition run. Shout out to the host judges who are doing a great job with this video and all of the staff and volunteers for making these events happen. Thank you so much, Lickerson. And to echo off that, I also want to thank the host judges for their time and everyone involved. You're all amazing. Thank you so much. All right. Now that we've gotten sword, we're going to equip the sword and go through this area. You know, you can probably read off a few more donations as we get towards double jump as well. Sure thing. I have a $125 donation from Imagine that says, Always glad to be able to donate when GDQ rolls around, and glad I'm able to do so this year given current circumstances. Put this towards the next bonus game, MK8 Deluxe, because you can never have enough speedruns. I agree. You can never have enough speedruns. There is still time to donate towards the Mario Kart 8 race, so get those donations in so that we can have more GDQ. Alright. And actually, that thank you very much. Uh, this is one of the Moki cutscenes, and that will conclude your GDQ hosting audition. Best of luck, everyone, and thank you again to the hosting judges. Thank you.